Imagine growing up believing you are a prince or princess, only to be told that those titles, once considered your birthright, no longer belong to you. This is the stark reality for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's children, Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana, as King Charles III strips them of their royal titles. This is not just another royal scandal. It's a story that speaks to deep-rooted traditions, power dynamics, and the future of the monarchy itself. The question is, why now? Why? At this moment, has King Charles chosen to remove the titles from his grandchildren? It's a decision that raises eyebrows and stirs controversy, but it also reveals something far deeper about the changing nature of the British monarchy. In this bold move, Charles is rewriting the rules, not just for Archie and Lilibet, but for the entire institution of monarchy. What does this mean for the future of the royal family? And what will the fallout be? Royal titles have always been a mark of distinction. Since King George V's reign in 1917, royal titles were carefully restricted to immediate family members to prevent the monarchy from growing too large. Titles like prince and princess are not simply ceremonial. They come with the responsibility of representing the monarchy, fulfilling royal duties, and importantly, maintaining the dignity of the crown. For Archie and Lilibet, who live far away in California, removed from the daily grind of royal obligations, keeping such titles was seen by some as a contradiction. But was this move about upholding tradition, or was it something far more personal for King Charles? When Charles ascended the throne, many wondered how he would shape his reign. Would he adhere to the age-old traditions of the monarchy, or would he attempt to modernize it for a new era? Stripping Archie and Lilibet of their titles may be a signal of his intention to streamline the monarchy, focusing less on hereditary privilege and more on active participation in royal duties. But there's also an undeniable personal element to the decision. Charles's relationship with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle has been strained, and this could be seen as a gesture to assert control making a clear statement about where his priorities lie. The monarchy, like any institution, is shaped by family dynamics, and Charles' decision doesn't just affect his grandchildren. It sends ripples through the entire royal household. While some might argue that removing titles is an essential step in modernizing the monarchy, others see it as a deeper betrayal of family bonds. Prince Harry, who has already distanced himself from royal life, may view this as an additional blow. Meghan Markle, who has often expressed frustration with her treatment by the royal family, may feel both vindicated and heartbroken for her children, who are now deprived of a key part of their heritage. For Archie and Lilibet, life without royal titles will undoubtedly alter their futures. Titles, after all, come with privileges, but they also carry immense pressure. Growing up without the weight of being a prince or princess could offer a certain level of freedom. No longer would they be scrutinized by the media, or burdened by the expectation to uphold royal protocol. But it also means that they might never fully connect with their royal roots, losing a piece of their identity that could have tied them more closely to their British heritage. There is, however, an upside. Without the constraints of royal titles, Archie and Lilibet may be able to forge their own paths. They could use their position to champion causes that are close to their hearts, free from the expectations placed on traditional royalty. Without titles, they may have the opportunity to become more relatable to the general public, especially for those who see the monarchy as an outdated institution. But is that enough? Will they ever be able to fully embrace their heritage, or will they always be seen as the children of a modern royal family who chose to reject their royal status? What's even more intriguing is the potential for this decision to set a precedent. King Charles' decision to remove Archie and Lilibet's titles could be the beginning of a much broader shift in how royal titles are bestowed. If this move proves successful in streamlining the monarchy, could we see fewer titles in the future? Will King Charles, who has spoken about the need for a slimmed-down monarchy, eventually remove titles from other family members as well? It's not unthinkable that in the future, titles may only be given to those who actively serve the crown, leaving younger generations to choose their own paths without the pressure of a royal name. This shift could impact the next generation of royals, including Prince William's children. Titles, once a given, could become a rarity, with only those closest to the throne receiving them. In fact, Prince Louis, the youngest of Prince William's children, could very well be the last royal heir 
to automatically inherit a title. If Charles's goal is to create a monarchy that focuses on service rather than status, it could dramatically reshape how the British royal family is perceived in the 21st century. Public opinion on this decision has been divided. Some view it as a practical step, one that shows Charles is finally modernizing the monarchy and adapting to the changing times. After all, the world has shifted in recent decades, and maintaining a large and publicly scrutinized family no longer seems necessary for the survival of the crown. Others, however, see it as a personal vendetta against Harry and Meghan, a way for Charles to publicly reinforce his authority and send a message that the monarchy is still in charge. What does all of this mean for the future of Archie and Lilibet? Without their titles, their public life could take on a new direction. They may have the opportunity to become figures in their own right, carving out careers or causes that align with their personal passions. The idea of reclaiming their titles later in life isn't completely off the table either. While it's unlikely that they would automatically regain their royal status, it's possible that in a modern monarchy, they could choose to pursue royal roles later on, depending on their own choices and interests. Imagine if Archie decided to work as a royal ambassador or Lilibet took up humanitarian work while proudly using her royal heritage to advocate for the causes she believes in. This could present a new kind of royalty, one defined by choice and merit rather than inherited status. Ultimately, King Charles's decision is a pivotal one. It reflects the monarchy's ongoing struggle to redefine itself in the modern age, balancing the need for tradition with the desire for relevance. The monarchy, once seen as a symbol of inherited privilege, could evolve into an institution where royal status is based on service, not birthright. This decision, though controversial, may be the start of a new era for the royal family, one that values personal choice, adaptability, and a more inclusive approach to what it means to be royal. As for Archie and Lilibet, their journey will likely be one of balancing their American upbringing with their British roots. While they may no longer hold official titles, they will continue to represent a changing monarchy, one that must adapt to a world that no longer automatically accepts the concept of inherited privilege. Whether or not they choose to embrace their royal heritage, they are sure to play a role in shaping the monarchy's future redefining what it means to be a royal in the 21st century.